Hello everybody, welcome back to the another episode in our Legendary Lizardman campaign for Total War Warhammer 2. I'm the Strategy Professor. Let's go ahead and get back in here. Alright, so we're definitely going to upgrade this. Tier 2. Um, there's nothing that reduces construction cost, is there? No. There's a recruitment cost reduction. Is there any construction cost reduction? No. Okay. We're good on that. So we have a Rebellion. Okay, so we have to go up and core that up. So we're going for Tier 3. We've got a little bit of cash left. And we're probably going to go for this. I mean, this building is very expensive. So we're going to have to go down there and smash some Skaven to finance it. But we want these gold ones. Remember, we get half off on those as well. So it's only about 100 gold to get some pretty dang good cav. I mean, even at 200 gold, this is such a bargain. Like, armor piercing... Heavily armor piercing cav at tier three with 42 charge bonus, 90 armor and shields. I mean, you can't get much baller than that. Now there are only 48 in a stack instead of, you know, some cav might have like 60, for example. Uh, but they also have pretty high health for cav. I think, I feel like 6200 is pretty high for like entry level tier three cav. Um, 66 speed's about average, 75 leadership's pretty high. Now, their normal, their base melee attack and defense is not amazing, but I'm trying to remember back and just think of, like, Empire Knights and such. Um, I feel like these are better than Empire Knights, and I feel like Empire Knights also cost at least 200. I can't remember. It's been a little while since I played Empire, but I feel like Empire Knights were, like, 225 or something gold per turn, and they, ha they dealt, like, 30 weapon damage, maybe. Maybe 32, but it was very, very low piercing. It was like 9 piercing or something. And they had very similar melee attack and defense. They may have had slightly um, slightly higher melee attack and charge bonus. But either way, like, and these cause fear also. But either way, nowhere near this kind of pierce for that price point. Like, that is huge. That is huge. And the fact that we get half off is just insane. Now, we can get the more expensive version. Now, because they're half off, this isn't as bad um, as it would normally be, now you're tearing up large units. So you're still dealing a ton of pierce, but you're dealing an extra 14 uh, against large units. Now you do lose um, four melee attack against smaller units, but with the charge bonus, it's not going to matter that much. Um, the extra 14 against large is going to be very handy as a tier three um, cavalry superiority unit. So this will just shatter like silver helms and stuff from the High Elves. Those High Elves are not going to be friendly with us on those islands for a long time. I'm just trying to get a temporary non-aggression agreement so they'll leave me alone while I kill all the Skaven. I don't think so. I mean, maybe they'll be friendly, but I suspect they'll eventually turn on us. Um, so anyways, these are on the options, and then of course, as I explained before, the Horn ones. Now they are half off, so it's possible we might get them in the future, but, but you know, they don't have that bonus versus large, and they're pretty expensive. They're tier four. They're all right. Now, something that I came to the realization with um, last time, and I was looking at the SARS veteran, if you look at all of these heroes, they all get really baller mounts. Like this guy can get an ancient Stegodon mount or just a Pterodon. If I just want to make him a flying caster just so he can reposition, I might just keep him on the Pterodon. We'll see. But the ancient Stegodon and the normal Stegodon is just huge. So I may not even need to buy a lot of these monstrous beasts. I'm going to get the um, the special Bastilodons, though, because those have awesome utility. So I'm definitely getting those. But in terms of, like, ancient Stegodons and Carnosaurs, if we just get enough of these guys, I mean, they're only 260 upkeep. We'll see what that cost goes to when I put them on a Carnosaur. If it's about the same price as a normal Carnosaur, which is 400, maybe even slightly higher, 500, it's still going to be worth it because... These guys get to carry a bunch of items. They get a, they have a bunch of skills they can level up. You know, they have a bunch of followers they can attain. So they're just like these very large beasts. Um, also, they become immortal once they get level 20. So you can't ever lose them. You don't have to pay like 2,000 gold to hire them back. So I think, and we'll see, but I, we'll compare stats when we get one. But I think with the heroes, we just spam as many heroes as we possibly can and just level them up and put them on their mounts. And we may not even need to get, like, just the raw, generic, large beasts. Because we'll have them at a cheaper or similar price point, And they'll do other things for us as well. So even though this guy kind of sucks, I mean, he doesn't have a lot of good abilities. He's just a walking carnosaur with upgrades. 
at some point once you level them up. So uh, that's, that seems really good. All right, let's get back down to business here. Okay, so leveling this up, we're gonna go for feral, um, or for cold ones rather. But as you can see, we're still strapped for cash. Um, they only have six units. Now they do have plague monks there, so they have some pretty okay units. Um, can I get them in one turn? This would allow me to hire if I want to hire like a, just a couple more Saurus warriors just to go down here and just really tear them up. I believe I can kill them in one turn. And then that'll let me dash back down south. So I can go ahead and I'm working with Ford too. I kind of want to just cash out here and just like get the biggest, baddest army I can get. I do have two more spears. It's probably fine. Uh, 140 a pop. I don't want to go negative. So we'll get one more of these. And we do have one more building we can build over here. Now I already have a cash building. Um, we could get the tablet. But we want to think about what are going to be our next things that we want. This tablet of war is pretty good. You get post battle loot, leadership. The 10% campaign movement range is huge, but that would cost, you know, 13 turns to get that. The question is, what do I want after this? I still have 12 turns to get this. Um, we don't need the skinks yet. I think this city one here monuments so we get growth city construction cost upgrading city which is really important and it goes faster and five percent for all buildings so that's really nice um this one is good but i think this one would be really good and that's the uh, public order building which is something that i need to upgrade anyways so it takes the tier three public order building is what gives you that so i think we'll go ahead and grab this now, public order is going to be a thing, as I explained before, but we look into the text. Each time we level up one of these big things here, we get plus one public order for everybody. Um, the Saurus guy gives plus one public order for everybody. Each one of these guys, I believe, once they get to like level 20 or something. Um, honored Elder. And uh, my main guy, Krotgar, can also get that level 20. So we figure we can get like three off of this. That'll be plus eight everywhere at one point. And then... Um, um, so that's two, I don't remember where I got eight from, but anyways, then we get three off of doing, um, Krotgar's quest. So eventually I think we can get, you know, somewhere between like eight to plus eight to 10 public order. And if we can get it high enough, we may not even have to run any of these in towns, which would be amazing. Cause that'll free us up to get more money buildings or just whatever else we want to put in towns. Okay. So we'll hire one of these. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll get diplomacy really quick, and then we'll go ahead and move forward. Um, not yet. Declining, why? Because we released troops. No, they don't like that. And we're considered a great power for some reason now. Man, I'd really like to confederate with them, but we might have to kill them the old-fashioned way. So now we're considered a great power because we have a decent army. Welcome to Legendary. Get a 14 stack immediately a threat. Yeah, I think I just got considered a great power right now. Scafeg Tooftaka. Tooftaka. I like it. You call? The woods of Athaloran welcome you. Deliver your message. I think not. Yeah, we must have just got um, great power. They really don't like that we release troops. I don't care. I need money. So if they don't like it, we can fight. Okay, now I'm basically broke, so we're going to have to be killing some people. Okay, let's do it. We've got our expensive army here. So you could never field this with Master Mundi. No way would you be able to field this kind of army this early on. It's not like it's a super oppressive or powerful army, but... 
it's very, very expensive at level one. Even, I mean, like, even with the bonus, like the 50% off Sars Warriors, I can't even field a full stack of them. Got ourselves a plaque. Attack, kill a bunch of enemies. Okay. Wait, I thought we already researched attack. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Alright, let's go crush these clowns. Really, y'all think it's gonna be that close? Okay. I mean, they do have some plague monks. Wow, that's a that's a pretty serious rebellion. Most rebellions I saw in my provinces before were not uh, not that equipped with tier three things. Like these are kind of scary. They get uh, plus eight and they're frenzied. Um, And they have some physical resistance, but I've they're gonna kill a lot of my units if I don't fight this manually, so we'll just go ahead and fight it. We'll show them who's boss. I think I might keep my caster on the on a flying mount. It's that, that's just so helpful. Just be able to fly around and just cast spells wherever you want without having to worry about getting cornered. We'll see. I mean, having an ancient stegodon is hard to turn down. Like that thing's gonna be pretty strong. They don't have any large units. So it doesn't matter. We're just gonna dogpile them. bonuses these croc scores get pretty good little amount they don't have the biggest melee attack and um charge bonus though so they lose out in that department to the uh rat ogres but they have a lot of armor they're gonna just stick in combat and just whacking people damn there's 110 power reserve here are you kidding jesus that is a lot of magic that's a good thing they can't use any i don't know where these clowns are let's just just run at them now this is not going to be as amazing because they don't have a lot of armor but still the negative 26 is a pretty big deal I mean, if I can't afford the Saurus Warriors, like, I would really like to get the Skink building just so that I can, um, get to the Skink Hero thing that gives me replenishment. Replenishment's just so huge. Especially when I'm gonna go on this long campaign here in a second and just start slaughtering Skaven, I hope. Are they just hiding? Like, are they gonna force me to fight them uphill in the woods? Large units get a penalty in the forest. Yeah. No, I get 80% melee attack. So that means they're going to lose, I don't know, like five or six melee attack. Six. If it's if they have 30 base, they'd lose six. No. 10%. Yeah, it would be six. No big deal. Because they don't have any large units, so they're not going to be suffering any kind of penalty. Hey, bros, like, what is up? Y'all want to fight me or what? Okay, my units are active. I'm going to chill here for a second. Just wait. I don't want my units to be winded and fight uphill. Because these cowards won't meet me. So you don't, like, if you're marching... 
across the battlefield, you have two options. Either you can walk all the way there, or you can do like I'm doing, run, and then just pause like right before you're about to go in. Wait till you see fresh. Because that affects a lot of things. I'm not going to explain everything about Vigor right now, but basically, when your units are really tired, they, they get a lot worse. They lose like melee attack, melee defense, uh, leadership, accuracy, um, fire, like, reload time. They just, they get worse in every way imaginable, just about. I, they might even lose armor. I don't think they lose armor. I'm pretty sure they lose melee attack, melee defense, and they visibly move slower. That much you can see, but the rest of it is kind of a hidden stat. No, no, no. What are you guys doing? Come on, right here. God, they got all these trees. It's going to make it very difficult to get in there with my big units. Such an odd map. I mean, it's a cool map. It's beautiful, but a little weird. Now, this is fine, and this is fun. Um, but, like, for multiplayer, maps like this are a huge problem because players will exploit this big time. Like, if you're the player that spawns on top of a hill like this, in the trees, and if you're against a faction that, you know, has a lot of large units, then it's very imbalanced. So, you know, the game is designed to be aesthetic, fun, single-player oriented, as I've explained before. Because um, there was a map in particular that was very common um, last fall that was very imbalanced, depending on where you uh, showed up on it. Y'all still feeling pretty good about this? Still feeling like you got some good odds? Wrap around, boys. Wrap around. Dude, I do not care if my ward is under attack. He will slaughter whatever they have. Bring it on.
Using all my healing. Making sure everybody's topped off. As much as I can be. Although I guess it doesn't matter because it doesn't replenish lost units. It would only matter on single entity units. So I don't even need to cast it on multi. Because these guys are going to be healed all the way up to 13 at the end of the battle anyway. So I really only need to cast that on single entity units. So wasn't really thinking that through. Okay. That's good enough. <clears throat> I like how you don't have to deploy heroes anymore. So that was really annoying how you had to run around and deploy. Now they just passively do whatever their effect is. When you're in a territory. And I believe that also includes even when you're with an army in a territory, they do that effect too. So they're even stronger now than they were in the past. Yeah, they're not going to, those factions are not going to like that I release these things, but I don't care. I need the money. Okay. Wait, did I just have to kill 500 with my army? I thought he had to kill 500 personally. Okay. Uh, what do I have? Oh, I don't care about that. Show me the quest. So it says they're going to beat me. Okay, they have a War Hydra. Bolt Thrower. Cold One Knights. Okay, their Cold One Knights are pretty good, I think. Yeah, they have the anti-large Cold Ones. Two fifty, uh, and they do actually do a little bit more. They have twenty four melee attack instead of twenty, and they have the death frenzy ability, um, or murderous prowess. Now they can rampage. Yeah, they have murderous prowess, which is pretty scary. Thirty plaques. What are these? Black art corsairs handbows. 25 missile damage, pretty good. Okay, so they are skirmisher. They don't move that fast. They have a lot of armor. Okay. Alyssa. And there's going to be reinforcements. Okay, yeah. So you can get this early on, but I think it's a trap. I got to have I gotta have at least some tier 3 stuff to handle this. Um, bleak swords are pretty weak. Base sword infantry swords will stomp them. And we will also stomp Dread Spear. So this stuff, we should crush. Um, Dark Magic's kind of problematic. I think Alyssa, we could probably deal with her. Um, it's mostly just these Cold Ones and this Reaper Bolt Throwers and the Hydra. So I probably need... I mean, I could do it with uh, Saurus Spears. If I had some more Spears, I could probably do it. Um... I think of what else to do the trick. I need some speed though. Like I need cold. I, I at the least need cold ones, so that I can go kill those bolt throwers. What is a plague hunt? Or plaque hunt? Search ruin. Okay. I Man, I guess I do get five hundred gold for it if I do it eventually. Oh, will this count as one final battle if I win this here? I guess we'll find out. Actually, let's see here. What do we have? Knights. Um, I actually thought of a use for Wind Blast. Like, if I'm sieging, I might be able to Wind Blast their little line of people at the door, blow them all down, and then run in there with, like, my huge mob while they're blowed down, while they don't have that weight anymore. So I can just push straight through with, like, my Stegodon... Um, and just all my Saurus Warriors and just get in there so that I can squeeze everyone through that door. So I think Wind Blast will actually have some decent utility in Sieges. So if I just blow everybody down and just run past them, just to swarm. It might do some decent damage too. Who knows? We'll see. I can try it out and see. Some Wind Spells are really strong and some aren't. So you just, I wish they would tell you numbers, but you just got to kind of feel it out.
I don't know how you get to level 2, I guess after level 15. To tell you how much upkeep it goes by. Uh, I mean, is it just at level 15 you can put two points in it and get turned into an ancient Stegadon? Obviously you're going to go for the ancient one, holy crap. Um, anyways, that's what we'll go for for now. This guy, we'll just keep making him a fighter. I mean, all this stuff's pretty garbage, so we might as well make him fight. Wish it would tell you how much the upkeep is. That looks like straight Carnosaur stats, though. 513. It's good movement speed, good. A little bit more armor than a normal Carnosaur. Yeah. Okay, let's go with that. Skaven Slaughterer. Oh, I get reinforcements from the town here. Should be a complete slaughter. Ocean of Speed. Decent, not amazing. It's okay. Nice. So now I can recruit, uh, recruit these blessed skinks. Okay, so they cost zero to recruit. And get three of them. Okay, so this is kind of like regiments of renown, sort of. But you get upgraded things. You have to do certain like, quests to get them. Stars Warriors, Skink Skirmishers. Yeah, and they had just have better stats than usual. Leadership charge bonus, okay. Um, they are free, but they do have expensive uh, upkeep. Actually, these are not really that expensive, but that's because I get 50% off. So it's calculating the 50% off on these, I think. Actually, hold one spear calf, and these are horned ones, and they're only 112. Those are typically more expensive than cold one spears, I thought. I don't know. Either way, what do these have? Leadership, speed, um, Saurus Warriors have a lot of extra stuff. Pterodons have more ammo. Wow, that's really fast. 132 speed. Jeez, armor. Yeah, those are pretty decked out. Now these uh, skink chameleons. I would like at least one of these. This would help me deal with the skirmishers. These are the guys I was talking about. Chameleon skinks. Um, so they have vanguard. They can fire while moving. Um, Now, if you can get into, like, wet areas or whatever, like, if you can fight in a little, like, creek or something, then they get some kind of bonus. I'm not really sure what that is. But this would apply poison. They do 25 missile damage. They have 30 ammo, so that's really nice. They have nice range, uh, nice leadership, pretty good speed. Um, but one of the big things is they have 40% uh, missile resistance. That's what this chameleon is. It's really hard for people to aim for him. Um, have pretty far range. And they should be able to out-damage slingers. Because right now I don't have a good answer to slingers. But these guys, I think, would crush them. They have 30 armor. Slingers deal, like, no armor-piercing damage whatsoever. Then they get 40% missile resist. So I feel like these would be able to deal decently with... And they reduce the slinger damage by 25% because they cause uh, poison. And then if I can get into the back of Skaven and just fire into their back, then that will reduce all of their damage by quite a lot. So I think it, I think I want definitely one of these in my army. That will put me in the red for now if I do that, but... I guess I can wait until next turn and then hire them. Oh, we can get a cold one now. Do I want to do that? Uh, yeah. 
that'll let me run down <laughs> run down the slingers will help me cause fear extra charge bonus bonus gets large armor piercing so that doesn't his weapon strength is actually the same it gets more armor bigger charge now what's his upkeep right now so i want to see this his personal upkeep Army upkeep is 2912. His personal upkeep is 423. Okay, I'm gonna get the cold one. Oh, I can go to a horned one for one more. What does that give me? 35 more charge. Um, 20 more armor. And faster speed. Wait. Let me. So what was his personal cost? Okay, so it only costs uh, like 423. Is that like 75, 50, 55 more gold? Something like that. 55, 65, 65 more gold for this mount. Okay, now it's properly upgraded. It's 440. Now if I upgrade it again, what will this give me? It'll give me 5 more armor, 8 more speed, 15 more charge. Not a ton, but a little bit. A little bit more HP. Now 15 extra charge is a big deal. A little bit more speed, a little bit more armor. Uh, that's probably good. I mean, if you just think one skill point gives you, it just reads plus eight speed, plus five armor, plus 15 charge bonus. That's pretty decent. I don't know. It is going to be outdated eventually when I get to Grimlock. I, I probably just need to go down here. Like, that's that's cool and everything, but... Okay, let's let's make a run for it here. Let's, we're going to go down and we're going to smash some Skaven Skulls. We're going to love it. So we got all this extra gold, and now we just don't have it anymore. Uh, how do people feel about these uh, recent events? Uh, they don't care that I uh, released a couple more. Yeah, whatever, I don't think they're going to play ball with us. That's fine, if they have a problem, we'll kill them. I do want that um, currency generating thing, so those guys better, like, chill. They want us to go to war with them? Uh, no. That's a good way to uh, force you to break a non-aggression treatment. So if I have a non-aggro with someone else... Minus 30%, but it takes, a, like, one extra turn? Uh, yeah. I'm cool with that. I mean, that would save like a thousand gold for one extra turn on those cold ones. I mean, I'm dead broke anyway, so you might as well. Yeah, cool with that. All right, Skaven. Hope uh, hope you have prepared yourself because it is on. My property's down to like right where that line is. I'm not gonna dash towards them. I'm not gonna be that foolhardy. But now I don't know if I get these chameleon skinks like instantly or if I have to wait. Now I'm pretty sure I have to be on my property to do it. Which, right? After winning an ambush battle, I get this. Okay. Insufficient funds. Okay. So this must have been what I unlocked. I just don't have the funds for it. And this is after building... Star Chamber. 
Um, what am I saying? Expensive starting. Okay, it's 4,200. That's not that bad. You get ward rank. Okay, so I could wait until I get to that to get a second ward. I might have to get it faster than that. We'll see. I mean, I, I can't afford much more than this. It's just, it's still really expensive, even with all the discounts. Okay, but we are balling now. We are ready. Um, I mean, that is cheaper. It's going to be a while until I can get to tier 4. Yeah, I think I need to just get money buildings and all of these, or public order, one or the other. We actually have pretty good public order right now, honestly. Because of the military crackdown. Okay. Upgrade that. Um, yeah, I need to upgrade this eventually. I probably should have done that several turns ago. But we need it for the technology, if nothing else. So we might as well upgrade it to tier 2. I don't think it's going to be worth it to upgrade it past that. I've had people in the past critique me, why don't you upgrade all the money buildings all the way every single time? And the reason is cost effectiveness. You just can't do that on Legendary. You you are always strapped for money. Um, like this right here, you're paying, well, it's cheaper now. It's 30% off, but I think it's like 2,500 and all you're getting is an extra 90 per turn. I mean, that's going to be like, and it costs five turns to build. It's like 30 turns before it pays for itself. It's not a good investment to start with. You need stuff that has a much bigger payout early on. Okay. And we're just going to finish our next tech for uh, Saurus right on time here. Get down there and get rowdy with these Skaven. Oh, okay. They got three stacks plus... Um, Garrison. Nice. Okay, you got it. Base chance. So now I can miscast everything, is what it sounds like. But that's if I try to overcast, I think. But it gives a ton of extra winds of magic. We'll see if I miscast while I cast normal spells. Okay, so they're going to have a lot of stuff here, but I, I think we could beat them. Right, let's do this. Base like 40 Skaven or something. Yeah. Like literally four stacks of Skaven. But a lot of these are reinforcements. They have anything noteworthy. They have a lot of spears. That's not going to be good because now we are mounted. So spears do extra damage to us. So we're going to have to be swift and just flank in the back. Um, they have a lot of spears. A lot. If these clan rats with spears are just so efficient. Now, they don't have a lot of upgrades for them yet, but... We can run down all these slingers and night runners, though. They can't run away from us anymore. We have shields and armors. They're just their worst nightmares. So you can just run around and clean those up, and we'll just let these, uh, Saurus warriors pound everybody else. Now they do have how many minutes? I don't know. They do have some amount of minutes from below. They do get in camp stance. Well, we didn't come over here not to fight them. You know, if we let them sit there, they're just going to hire more and more and more units. So eventually, we got to fight this. You know, like six thousand uh, unit army here. Now, hope we'll see where these reinforcements come from. Hopefully, they don't all come from behind them. We might be able to cut off one or two of them. If they do all come from behind them, we're just going to have to bum rush them and kill them as fast as we can. Okay, they are all coming from behind, it looks like. And they kind of get this high ground area. 
And they get all these trees, which are going to make my large units not be as effective. Oops, uh, this guy is eight. Okay, so we always start with 30, basically. It's not going to let us start over 30. So we'll try this out. We'll see if this does any, like, real damage. I don't know. I feel like just more Curse in the Night Wind is just what I want. Just spam that. Are they going to tell me what the miscast chance is? I think it's 100%, basically, if I didn't have any large units. That's not going to matter. Oh, I have to start way over here? That's a dang shame. Let's start up here and just see if we can get a good, some good scouting in on them. Oh, they're trying to go up here. Is this where they all are? Clan rats? Oh. Oh, they're all trying to run for it. Okay. Come up here. Slaughter them. How did... So one of their units started over here, I guess. Wait, what is this? They cast something on me? Oh. My units are kind of tired. No, they're fresh. They're good. See if I get the angle on him here. Wait, how did that dude take so much damage? Okay, let's go ahead and pop a heal on him here. Well, I didn't get overcasted, okay. I'm sure it's gonna overcast me.
him. We are wasting a lot of ammo here. Alright, toggle skirmish mode. Let's go. We need to get way back over here. Hope the Croc scores out there. They're getting beaten up. That's some decent damage. I'm not sure if it's better than a Midnight Wind, though, honestly. Actually, yeah, get in the back of these right here. Get in the back of those, yeah. See if we can carve through into the back. Yeah, we're trying to get over here. I just want to shoot these in the back. Yeah, just lower some of the damage on them. Right, let's see if we can get over here a little bit more. What is this? Is this a ward or something? Those are just slingers. Okay, there we go. Now we're breaking them in there. Alright, let's get down here. Nine more. Yeah, they should all be running here pretty soon. We've got them completely surrounded now. Croc scores are definitely getting dinged up over here. Go over here and help those croc scores out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bros, bros, bros. Go, go, go. Yeah, just toggle skirmish mode. I don't have to roll with them anymore. Skink's getting hurt, too. Let's get the Stegodon out of there, also. While we're at it. Let's get a fresh charge bonus in here.
Yeah, just kite him, I guess. Croc scores are getting slammed. Oh, he's coming back, huh? Come here, little Grace here. I'll show you what's up. Right here, right here. Kill it. Kill the wards. Kill the wards. Yeah, we just can't run them down really that well. Boys, let's go. Kill some stuff. I could feel it get really hot in here for my graphics card. Like, because they have like, you know, 6,000 units and it's trying to like crank out and do all the physics for all of those. Definitely feel the heat in here a little bit. Uh, let's just wind blast these guys. Can't get close enough. Kill him, dude. Come on. It's weak, man. I only killed 74 that whole fight. Come on. This cross score's probably killed like 300. Yeah, they killed 300. Vanguardian. That wasn't really that close. I mean... Dude, they had so many. They had like 6,200 units or something. And I killed... Like 3,000 of them.
Just those Saurus Warriors, man. Those upgraded Saurus Warriors do so much work. The heroes really, like, were not that impactful. The little skink priest killed more than any of them. <laughs> like, these fighter lords didn't kill anything, hardly. They just attack too slowly to deal with those, like, huge, uh, like, hordes of units. The Saurus Warriors just hacking them down. He's scathing or killing, like, six, three, you know, ten. The numbers are staggering when it's, uh, yeah, they had 6,400 units. They lost 3,200. Really? I killed... 3,000 Skaven, and all I get for releasing captives are 300. I mean, 300 is so little gold. I guess I might as well just slaughter him. I mean, I guess. 300 is so little money. <clears throat> nice. And a fan waiver. Is that what... Do I already have one of those, or is that a different one? Prize Hunter, Hibernation Attendant, and Fan Waiver are 5%. There's two different followers that give you 5% replenishment. That is sweet. That's what I'm talking about. I don't care about that as much. I mean, do I really want this upgrade? Armor charge, AI. Ah. It's okay, but I think there are probably going to be better options. I think we need to get through here, so let's just go with Ancient Cunning. Oh, Proud Warrior. We gotta get the last Proud Warrior. We're gonna do Evasion, and mostly because we want Arcane Conduit and Power Drain. Uh, Chain Lightning is... It's okay, it's expensive. It wouldn't be terrible against Skaven. Common of Cassandora is just that's way too expensive for what it is. Evasion, when does he get this? Level 10. That's when the party begins. Yep, predatory fighter. I guess we just start going melee attack. I guess that's why he has such low basic stats because he can eventually get on a Carnosaur, which that still is pretty low base stuff. Maybe that's not as good as a normal Carnosaur. I mean, he has 38 base attack. I'm sure normal Carnosaurs have more than that. Anyways. He already has a lot of armor. Let's let's give him that melee attack. Hit him up with that melee attack. Um, yeah, I can go for the siege here. The garrison is injured a little bit, I believe. And I want that replenishment, so... There's another tribe over here, but... Yeah, I mean, they're already entered, and this is, uh, god, that's a lot of reinforcements. But I think we can just bang in the front door. We can just pop reach in early on the, um, Steg Stegadon and my melee specialist guy and take him. Uh, missile resistance on, like, Croxagores, or... These guys can heal themselves in battle pretty confidently. I... 
feel like just Croxigors. Those things do some serious work, man. I really want, like, those guys to be my core infantry. Those things just kill a lot. Now, they are more expensive. These Saurus are 37, 42. I mean, 100 armor. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to fight him straight up, I think. Let's straight up murder them. We're just going to beat in the door with the Stegodon and the Croxagores. Now, they aren't as good at, like, sustained combat as something like Rad Ogres. Rad Ogres have slightly higher... Well, I don't know. I don't know if that's true, because they have so much more armor than Rad Ogres do. Like, Rad Ogres have a higher charge bonus... But they don't have as much armor as the Croxidors do. But they have higher uh, melee attack. So Croxidors and they ha have way more armor than like trolls or anything like that. Okay. Um, all right, we need to get in there. So let's do um, do Stegodon on one side. Croxagores on the other. Okay, so we'll do like one. Three. No, I have these guys as two. Those guys took a lot of hits last time. Those weren't as impressive as I thought they were gonna be. No, they're mostly just for that debuff, right? Just to put the poison on people. Okay, so we'll put group one over here. Group two over here. We'll bang on both walls at once. No, not group two. Group three. Group two is fine, but really group three. Um, and we'll keep we'll have this guy over here. And we'll keep the skink over here with uh, my core units. I didn't miscast any in that last fight, so I'm not really sure what that miscast is all about. At least not that I noticed from us, uh, from my dude. Yeah, can't use that yet. Dang it, he's already going feral. That's not good. So that means I'm not going to be able to control him. I mean, can he get in there? No. So they're kind of doing tactics that I do where you stall these summoned clan rats on the outside. That's actually pretty smart of them to do that. To delay it so that we take more damage on the outside. These guys will be able to beat down that door. Those Croxagores, I imagine, are going to make pretty short work of that door with these huge sledgehammers. Get to work, boys. Not as fast as I had hoped. God, everyone's rampaging now. Yeah, might as well go ahead and heal him up while we're just sitting here beating on this door. Might as well top him off or just chilling near the door. Okay, we're not rampaging anymore. Get out of his way. They open the door? Get in, get in, get in. Are they going to close it in my face? They've done that before. Like, it won't let me click through this. It's pretty troll. So, like, halfway opens the door, but it won't let me target it. 
and then it will do this thing where it, like they just slam it in my face. It doesn't let me target the door. Is this their main ward they're sending out? Okay, good. We got an over here. Motor dude's taking some heat. Wait, hold on. Is he trapped on the inside because the door is... Like my units can't get through? Is that what it is? Is that why he's taking so much damage? These units, like, cannot get inside? What the hell? It's glitched, yeah, because they're not going in. Like, a handful of them are in and a handful of them are out. Yeah, now they're attacking the invisible door. Okay, we gotta cast this on him then, because... He's on the inside somehow, because they open it up and let him in, and now there's this invisible door. Wait, why is he running all the way around? Because like, he can't get in? Is that what it is? Okay, fine, whatever. Just get over here, get in. He also can't see. It says targets are too close. My god, are they going to kill my skank because I can't get in this door from this glitch? Are y'all freaking trolling? Get this door. Oh my god, they glitched me out? Hey, everybody back up. Maybe it's glitched the door out. Just back up. Let it shut. These are trapped on the inside. Alright, let him get in there to deal with this. God, I'm gonna have to keep just casting this defensive stuff on myself. It can't beat on the door because it's open, but it also can't go in. See, it's going to run all the way around because it because it thinks the door is open. But it won't beat on the door because it thinks the door is open. Look at this. Like, it's not attacking the door. Jesus Christ, they're going to kill my skink because I can't get over there fast enough. All right, boys, run, run. Just run over here right now. Ignore everything and get your butts over here. And save the, this is Operation Save the Skink. Jesus. This is about the trollest thing. I mean, we might as well just run all the way around since the door is invulnerable now. These guys are going berserk. Boys, go right now. Run this way. Don't walk. Run. This is the stupidest effing thing. Pardon my language, but, like, that's so cheesy. Because it's like, not only can I not get in, but I physically cannot destroy the door because they have it open. And half of these units are trapped in here, too. And now they get to fire on all my units because I have to walk all the way around because I can't bust down the door. Because it physically will not let me break the door. I mean, I've seen it where they've opened it before and then closed it in my face. Yo, where? Hey, guys. There's a thing called, like, move. I'm asking you to move. Are these guys glitched now, too? Where, like, no one can run? 
Like, what is the deal? Get over here now. None of them are berserk. One of them is now. My units are going to be exhausted just from running around the whole base, trying to figure out how to get inside. Because you can't attack doors. This is so dumb. I could, it, like, it wouldn't even let me attack the door because it thinks it's open. I guess when you have to cheat to win, you gotta cheat to win. But they're not gonna win. We'll beat them anyways. As soon as these cross scores get in here, it's all over with. I have too much armor for those old Skaven to deal with. Careful not to walk through that door. Who knows, you might just instantly die. Okay. He survived. I mean, it's not the end of the world. If this, he's going to replenish a lot this turn. And then, um, you know, at the start of the next battle, we can just use all of our regeneration stuff on him. We can get him back up. It's not the end of the world. It's just annoying. Hey. Like. What? Is he glitched out too? Can we not attack these guys? What's the... Hello? Let's get in here and just take their town square. It is kind of annoying how a lot of their units go berserk and you can't really, like, control it. Oh god, now they're trying to assassinate him? Are you guys kidding me? It's not enough that you've already trolled the hell out of him? But now you've got to, like, try to assassinate him. Are these the Skaven reinforcements? Come get it, bros. Let's do this. You guys just chilling? You taking five? What's the deal? Oh, now they're berserk. Okay. Hopefully that doesn't overcast me or whatever. Okay, we good. These chameleons are pretty underwhelming, honestly. They're okay, like, you know, you get them against, like, dragons and things like that, just so that you can debuff them. Revenge! It's decent, decent. We probably can't even run through this because the door is still going to count as intact. 
God, it's a troll, man. We made it, though. Like I said, we could just reach in him next turn, I think. Even if they attack us in the town without letting us reach in, I think we'll still be in okay shape. We can just use their uh, cold-blooded. And that's pretty sweet, too. The more heroes that you run in your army, the more cold-blooded that you get. Which is great, obviously, for keeping up any like single-entity large units. What did we say it was? Like a 1,000 HP? I think it, you get to heal with it. So it's pretty substantial. Might have even been 1,500. Okay. Close victory. Oh, okay, we got decisive on that one. Good. That's what I'm talking about. Now, if they don't glitch us out, but that's how I want to run this siege, is just run in, beat down the door, and just head at them, man. No line of sight, like tomfoolery around edges, and just running up and shooting everybody down and glitching out the AI. We beat them. They try to glitch us. That's what they have to do to try to stop the strategy professor. They have to try to glitch us because we're playing it it's going to say straight man mode, but I don't want to be genderist. We're just running in, beating them down, not doing any fancy AI glitching or anything like that. Just a straight up good old fashioned beat down. That's what we're looking for here. And these Crocs scores, man. I mean, these things are great in a siege. I just, I love the Crocs scores, dude. Beat down those doors. I mean, they even had to run all the way around the building. They didn't even get to fight most of that. They just straight up had to run all the way around until they were super tired, and they finally got to the Skaven like three minutes later. We got a couple of hits in. They're very good against garbage infantry for sure. And I think they're, I mean, they're okay against more elite infantry too, probably. I think they have a really like wide swinging um, arc on their uh, attacks or something like that. It's probably why they do so much. Now, sacking, will I have enough? I might have enough to sack and then occupy. I think it was tier 3, so this will give me a tier 2. Now, a tier 2 is going to cost... Um, like, 2,000 upgrades, so if I get it at tier 2, that's probably worth the 2,300 gold. Because it's going to take a lot of growth to get there. So it's going to delay, you know, because their growth is horrible in their main building. I think I'll just occupy and see if I can get it at tier 2. If I get it at tier 1, then I just lost like 2,300 gold. But if I get it at tier 2, I think that it cost about 1,500 to 2,000 to upgrade and it would take a lot of turns. So it's probably worth. Okay, good. We got it at tier 2. And we get a skink building. Nice. I think the skink building unlocks a tech, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Excellent. Now, we're probably not going to keep the skink building. We're going to sell it for something else. But yeah, we got to keep the tier 2, which is great. That's probably worth the 2300 gold. Like, I could have sacked it, but it would have taken it down to tier 1. Tabulated skinks. But before I sell that, now getting some skinks wouldn't be awful. I could actually just hold on to this right here and sell those chameleon skinks and just get normal skinks. Because I really don't care how much damage they do. I just want the debuff. Because those chameleon skinks are they're too much money, I think, for what they do. They're just they're pretty disappointing. These, I mean, they're 180. And I just, I didn't see how many kills they got last battle, but I just feel like they just don't do anything. They're just too expensive. And I do get the Blessed, so, you know, if at some point I just desperately need some units in my army, I can get them, but... As it stands, 180 is just too much to pay for those. I, I guess I'll keep them. I, don't know, I could save 80 gold per turn. They do a lot more damage than normal skinks do. I guess we'll keep them. Like I don't need them now, but once we start facing some big monstrous units or like huge flying units or something, we'll probably want them. And I just go ahead and get some chevrons on them.
are getting so close to getting these blessings. We're still going to go Ancient Cunning. No one else gets anything, and big question is, do we go Public Order or Money here? Get rid of that, because we're making no money right now. Has, does that help us on the geometric web? A little bit. Web strength two. How do I upgrade it? Oh, so I can strengthen it via the building or if I own more territory or get more alliances. Okay, tier three is, you have to have the building, geomantic pylon and allied settlements nearby. So I have to have the tier three and allied and then the tier four has to be upgrading those things okay so i need to find somewhere that's in the center because it's near the closest one so like this one that's connected with all kinds of other ones um would empower both this place this place and a couple others okay let's go public order or gold i mean i think i just have to go gold right now I really, really need money. I need to do this tech with the skinks. Wait, where's the skink one? Is it this one? Which tech does this do? Tabular to skinks, okay, makes sense. Wait, can you not have more than one going at a time or something? I kind of wanted to just complete this while I could and then sell the skink building. Well, we will need the skink building to get Croxagores eventually. So I guess we can just get Crocs right here. Um, and then right here we can get something else like cold ones or whatever. Okay. Um, so do I want... I don't know if I want the public order then or the gold. I do need the money, but... I. I think I need the public order more so I can keep moving without having to backtrack and deal with rebellions as fast. If I'm not making any money, then I can just keep the uh, taxes off, and that'll help me even more with public order. Just so that I gain territory, and then eventually, once I level it up a little bit, then I can turn on the money. Just not worth it right now. Okay, I think I probably have gone over on time, but I, I really wanted to do those fights. Those were some cool fights. Could hire some skinks if we want to, but we're already in the red. This army is strong enough. We do get upgrade or like upkeep reduction on everything right now, so if we can get anything, we need to get it. Okay, let's. Yeah, they don't like our treaties, but they like that we're busting up the Skaven. Yes. You need me. Well chosen words and fine wine. They don't care that we're busting up the Dragmores. I'm coming soon for you, Queek. You better be ready. 
Coming for you, son. This will probably be it for this turn. Cold ones, I imagine, are going to take two turns to uh, make. Now they're going to skitter on back to their little home, and then we're going to go bust them up next turn, maybe. Yeah. Oh, we're going for him. Don't worry about that. Okay, how are we doing on time? We're way over, right? Uh, yeah, we're way over. Okay, so that hour time, we'll go for it next time. But uh, we got some great battles in this one. I don't, don't remember how many we fought. Two, three, whatever. Some great battles, great siege. Um, and that's going to be it. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.